I had a moment sitting over there yesterday where I just thought, this is exactly where I'm supposed to be. And like three seconds later, where did he go? He's like, we're where we're supposed to be, aren't we? I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> Building conversation is all about how can I offer what I've been given to somebody else. It's a stewardship. When you've been entrusted with something, when you've been given something, whether it's opportunity or skill or coaching that you've received, when you've been given that, now the question is what are you going to do with it and who are you going to do it for? because we never will work as hard for our own self as we'll work for someone or something else that we care about. You ask any parent in the room and they'll tell you that. When you're in a place of momentum where you are having wins, when you are seeing success, I know that in my life, those moments are kind of fleeting. And so when you feel it and when you have it, you have to absolutely squeeze the life out of it. You cannot run with your feet both on the ground at the same time. There's movement, there's speed that's attached to that. And I know enough to know if I want to pace that out and I want to run faster, then I need to start pacing myself with people who are running faster. Because the one thing I know is I don't want to stand still any longer. So it's like I got into this funk and I'm like, I can't do this. Only certain types of people can do this. It's not for me. So Mandy was like, look, go to the boot camp. It'll change your life. And I just trusted her. I'm like, this weekend is going to change my life. I'm going to get what I need from it. And this is going to be the first day of the rest of my life. And honestly, I do feel like I got a lot of what I needed. And whatever I didn't get, I got a lot of contacts to where I can get it later. To run it up is going to be a, a, a mixture of receiving and also action getting out of the silo that I've been for six months and letting people help me. Melissa's been amazing. Pretty much everybody here has been amazing. For me, it'll be that. It'll be a combination of those two and just going forward with faith. I'm gonna do everything that Dave told me to do. David gave me some help, Summer gave me some, I'm do it all. And I'm gonna implement it because I just wanna run up the score too for my family, for the people around me for the leaders who aren't yet on the team. Um, and I really believe that they're gonna come into a system that's gonna change their life. Like it has mine already and I'm not even really gotten started, so. Running it up um, is really taking whatever that identity issue is for you and running that up to the person that can tell you who you really are and actually getting to a place where you're seeing you how God sees you how we see you and how your peers here see you, but that's gonna take you realizing first how you see you. And so that's what I wanna see everybody here do is figure out what are those lies that you've been telling yourself about who you're not and what you can't do and who in the world created you with that mindset. You have to choose to actually own who you are, who you were made to be. And, and I think there's a lot more voices in our lives that are gonna tell us who we're not. There's a lot of shaming messages that, that come at us. There's also a lot that come from inside of us that we've got to go to war against.